Good morning, everybody, and welcome to this morning's Tropical Atlantic Basin update. So the Tropical Atlantic continues to go crazy as we have six systems, four systems, and two areas to watch in the Atlantic. We have post-tropical cyclone Idalia as of 8 a.m. Atlantic Standard Time, Friday, September the 1st. Idalia has maximum sustained winds of 60 miles per hour, a minimum central pressure of 998 millibars, and east-southeasterly movement at 16 miles per hour. We have Hurricane Franklin with maximum sustained winds of 80 miles per hour, a minimum central pressure of 983 millibars, and east-northeasterly movement at 18 miles per hour. We have Tropical Storm Jose with 60 mile per hour maximum sustained winds, minimum central pressure of 997 millibars, and northerly movement at 18 miles per hour. And GERT has reformed into a 35 mile per hour tropical depression with a minimum central pressure of 1,008 millibars and easterly movement at 8 miles per hour. And then we have a disturbance Invest 94L just west of the Cabo Verde Islands as of 8 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, Friday, September the 1st, 2023. Recent microwave satellite images indicate the circulation of a low pressure system located west-northwest of the Cabo Verde Islands has become better defined since yesterday. In addition, the associated shower and thunderstorm activity continues to show signs of organization. Based on these trends, advisories are likely to be initiated on a tropical depression or tropical storm later this morning. The system is moving northwestward at 10 to 15 miles per hour across the eastern tropical Atlantic. Formation chance through 48 hours is high near 100%, and formation chance through seven days is also high near 100%. So we're about to have Tropical Storm Katia in the eastern Atlantic Basin, five ongoing systems. And then uh, we got a 50% chance of tropical cyclone formation over the next seven days in the main development region. A tropical wave is expected to move off the west coast of Africa this weekend. Environmental conditions appear conducive for some gradual development of the system during the early and middle parts of next week. And a tropical depression could form while it moves westward to west-northwestward over the eastern and central portions of the tropical Atlantic. Formation chance through 40 hours is low near 0%, but formation chance through 7 days is medium near 50%. And this is the system that I'm really going to be watching for my friends in the Caribbean and possibly even the East Coast. So getting into the models, looking at the 6Z run of the GFS model, we got uh, Idalia, and then we got Franklin, we got Gert, no, we got uh, Jose, and then Gert, a quartet of storms in the same general area. And then we have our new disturbance, Invest 94L, in the GFS model, a predicting development as soon as um, or later today. And then we're going to have Franklin and Gert kind of do a Fujiwara effect as uh, Franklin and Jose kind of absorb and combine by this afternoon in the Saturday morning while Idalia kind of stalls near Bermuda for uh, a day or so, producing some very heavy rain in Bermuda. And then uh, Katia is going to uh, remain a weak tropical storm through Sunday in the eastern Atlantic. And then Franklin's going to move away. And then Idalia could start to curve back to the coast by Wednesday, although the GFS is not showing that scenario. However, what I'm really going to be watching is this new main development region disturbance by Wednesday, September the 6th, could see a tropical depression in the main development region. And then we could see a tropical storm moving toward the Windward Islands by Thursday. And then by Friday, we could see an intensifying hurricane uh, just to the east of the central Windward Islands. And now the GFS model is making a landfall in the northeastern Windward Islands sometime on Saturday near Antigua, Barbuda, and Anguilla. So make sure you're uh, watching the system if you live in the Caribbean, although this is still um, eight days out, and these are going to change. Moves it through Puerto Rico as a major hurricane by Sunday, Dominican Republic by Monday, Turks and Caicos by Monday, and Bahamas by Tuesday. Now this is getting into fantasy land, so take this with a grain of salt. And then possibly 
very outside chance right now going to the east coast by Wednesday and Thursday as a major hurricane. So I'm going to continue to watch that trend closely on this uh, Atlantic disturbance. So looking at the 0z run of the European model, we got Adalia, Franklin, Jose, and Gert, the, car the quartet of storms, and then we got our organizing system, soon to become Katia, west of Africa. Uh, our quartet of systems is going to move to the east, doing a Fujiwara effect by Saturday, and then the European model curves Idalia up towards Nova Scotia and Newfoundland by Tuesday. So if you live in Nova Scotia and Newfoundland, keep an eye on Idalia as a potential exists for a recurve to Atlantic Canada. And then we got our main development system becoming a tropical storm by Thursday. And then the European model has a further north solution missing the Windward Islands entirely as a hurricane moves about 200 miles north of the northeastern Windward Islands by Saturday. And we see a major hurricane uh, north of Puerto Rico by early Monday of next week. Possibly a Category 4. Looking at the uh, Canadian model, Canadian model shows Franklin, Adalia, Jose, and Gert skirting out to sea, and then shows Adalia bringing some heavy rain to Bermuda Saturday and Sunday, and then the uh, Canadian also curves Idalia back as a weak system to Nova Scotia by Thursday and Friday, and the Canadian shows our main development region system uh, also skirting to the north of the Lesser Antilles by a few hundred miles, and also bringing it to a major hurricane. So I'm going to be uh, really monitoring this system in particular over the next several days as this could be a threat to the Caribbean and possibly uh, way down the line to the United States. Uh, thanks for watching today's tropical update. Please stay safe and have a wonderful day my friends.